What is going on everybody and welcome back to our addition bathroom dormer remodel whatever we're calling this thing. I'm sitting in the bathroom right now. We got all of our skim coating done on the walls and now I am about to make a colossal mess and put some self leveler on the floor. Originally as you can see I got three buckets right there ready to mix up and then I got in here started looking at it. I think I'm only going to mix up I probably only need one and a half but I'll probably mix up two and see where we're at because I believe I'm only going to level right here where the toilet's going to go and then I want to level in the shower as well because we have a decent pitch going down this way and I want to make sure we have that Schluter prefabricated pan nice and level in that. So I put a little barrier right here and then the high point of the shower floor of the bathroom floor is right here. So I think if I bring that self leveler just right up to this wall here, it'll level this out adequately to be able to use thin set to be able to make sure everything is hunky dory right there. Now, right over here, um, I put a barrier here, which is where the Schluty curb is going to go. Schluty, Schluter curb is going to go right there. And then I just put some tape so that we can quickly pull this whole thing right out and, uh, and not have to use caulk. As you can see, I got caulk all around the edge. This will allow for expansion and contraction of that self leveler if it does need to move. And it also is going to keep all that self leveler in this room instead of flowing all over the place. And I have what I think is called some lath right here. This is thin, super evil, super sharp, like mesh. Um, and I assume um, that is to prevent it from cracking as the subfloor might move underneath this self leveler. If you put this on concrete, apparently you don't need that, but on an OSB subfloor like I have here, you do need that. And yesterday, as you can see, it's kind of blue down here. I put some acrylic primer, which is specific to this self leveler on here. And you can find all this stuff at your local home centers. I'll show pictures as I work through the process here, but let's mix up some of that self leveler and make a big old mess here. As I was dutifully dumping the last bag of leveler into this bucket, 
I realized on the back, if I were to look at the instructions first, it said put your water in and then put your powder in. Whoops. So anyway, it, uh, it takes about five and three quarter quarts of water in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add five real quick. I'm not getting too scientific about it. So we'll mix one of these up and see what it looks like. And I also am gonna start with my drywall mud beater instead of the big, instead of this big paddle mixer, just because I have much more control over it. And I won't lose it. Get some of that water down in the bottom. Try this drill first. Still a little bit of a bubble in there right there. We'll be able to fix that with some mortar. And this one, this one was looking spectacular. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Really good there. Maybe a little bit of a gap right here. Yeah. Much, much improved. Anyway, not too difficult a task, I will say that I did the, I did a second layer on here and I think I, I mixed the leveler a little bit too dry because it set up very very quickly um, and then it just it didn't flow quite as well as I thought which is maybe why we have a little bit of a bubble right in the middle so definitely followed the instructions and mixed the full five it was almost six quarts of water per 50 pound bag but I ended up using all three bags um, and I think it's looking pretty good. But anyway, I hope this video helped some of you guys out. If you are looking to do leveler over OSB like I did right here, I ended up only doing the two sections instead of the whole bathroom, but all as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and helped some of you out. If it did, 
please hammer that thumbs up button as it helps us out and gets this video in front of more eyes. Make sure you subscribe because we're only just getting to the good part of this bathroom where we're gonna do all the tile work, tile vanity this time around. We're gonna do a Schluter system shower. It's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, we'll see you next time.